Hey guys, so 303 has given us our second blog post based on our feedback for Season 1. And there's a lot of good stuff coming to the game, a lot of stuff that I feel should have been in the game when it first launched, and a lot of you guys said the exact same thing. There was also a new image of Catalyst, I'll throw that up on screen now. Seems like they've gone away from the clean aesthetic and going for more of a Guardian overgrown vibe, which it looks really good honestly. And Last Man Standing and future events that come to Halo Infinite will now be permanent game modes. So no FOMO, no missing out, and that's really, really good. So let's get into the video. So the big one that everyone is talking about is cross-core customization. 303 is trying to implement it. However, the way the system is set up, they said they'll have to do every single individual item, and it's going to take a lot of work to enable cross-core customization. I would argue, why not just scrap the entire system and build something more modular if it's going to take that much resource time? If you're just putting a band-aid on a system that doesn't work, that development time might be better spent just creating something that works and allows full customization for all pieces. The next great thing that we heard is the battle pass will feature earnable credits up to a thousand in season two. So if you buy one battle pass and complete the battle pass, you get a thousand points. You can buy next season's battle pass for free. This brings it in line with other live service games, which is fantastic. The shop prices will also be adjusted and individual pieces will become available. I've got to say the bone white color, the Zvedza, that got rotated into the shop this week, despite everything that has happened with Halo Infinite, people are still happy to fork out lots of money to buy these colors because in my BTB games, I have noticed so many people have been showing up with that color. The Halo 5 Bulldog rank 152 skin will be finally getting updated. So good job everybody who gave feedback towards that. We have asked for this for a long time for Halo 5's max rank skin to be brought back to what we got shown in the 2020 preview before the game actually came out. I'm excited to see how they make it look when they update it. As far as actual XP progression, we're gonna be waiting a very long time. 343 said that a battle pass performance-based progression will be coming out by the end of the year. So how well you do equals how much points you get and how quickly you progress through the battle pass, which is fantastic. And then I think challenges will supplement this. However, an actual progression system like we have in Halo 3 or Halo Reach is still in the design phase. Now I've always said a progression system is one of the most important things in the game. Having a ranking system and then a proper progression system side by side is the best way to do it. And it seems like it's gonna take till 2023 minimum to get it out, which is just a very long time. Aside from that, there will be better weekly rewards to reflect time spent on the challenges, which is great. And theater slash observer mode will receive updates to kind of fix bugs. So just minor stuff there. Again, theater mode, even if they fix it as best they possibly can, fundamentally it's broken and the reticule will never accurately line up to where you've actually aimed in game. No matter what 343 does to fix theater and observer mode, unfortunately, depending on your ping, so the laggier you are, the more and more the theater mode will look inaccurate. It goes back to what I was saying just before with how broken some of these things are. It honestly might be better instead of just trying to put a band-aid fix on something, just completely scrap it and create something new. So there you have it guys, I really appreciate 343's transparency and there's a lot of really nice quality of life stuff that they're bringing to the game, which I really appreciate. It really seems like there's a number of different things that 343 is doing to try to get Halo Infinite up to speed and it seems very similar to past games, Halo 5, MCC, that over time the game will become phenomenal but at launch it's very bare bones. So let me know what you think in the comments, are you happy with this update, are you happy with this blog post? I'll throw it in the description in case you want to read it for yourself. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.